The white-browed purple tuft, Iodopora isabelli, is a small, colorful bird species native to the cloud forests of the eastern Andes in South America, particularly in Colombia and Ecuador. It's known for its striking appearance and vibrant plumage. Key characteristics, size, around 11 to 12 centimeters, 4 to 5 inches in length. Plumage, the male has a distinctive violet-purple coloration on its head. Throat and back with a white brow or stripe above the eyes which gives it its name. The female is somewhat duller in color compared to the male. Habitat, it is typically found in humid, montane forests at altitudes between 1,500 to 2,500 meters, 4,900 to 8,200 feet. Diet, primarily feeds on insects and some fruits, often foraging in the canopy and understory of forests. Behavior, white-browed purple tufts are usually solitary or found in small groups. They are active, agile birds that can be seen darting between branches as they forage. Conservation status, the species is classified as near-threatened by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. Habitat loss due to deforestation and human activity poses significant threats to its population. This bird is a stunning example of the rich biodiversity found in the Andean cloud forests. Its striking appearance and the specialized habitat it occupies make it an interesting subject for bird enthusiasts and conservationists alike. The white-browed purple tuft is a small, brilliantly colored bird with unique physical traits, especially its purple plumage and white brow. It thrives in the cloud forests of the Andes but is facing challenges due to habitat loss. Though relatively elusive, it is a highly cherished species among birdwatchers and a symbol of the biodiversity in South America's high-altitude environments. Conservation of its habitat is crucial for ensuring that this beautiful species doesn't face further decline. Hmm? The ruby crowned Dunaga, Tacophonus coronitus, is a small, brightly colored bird native to Central and South America. Here are some key details about it. Description. Size. About 18 centimeters, 7 inches, long. Plumage. The male is most notable for its striking ruby red crown, which is often hidden but can be seen when the bird is agitated or excited. Its body is predominantly black with hints of bright red, particularly on the wings and underparts. Females. They are generally more subdued in color, with a duller plumage. And their crown is not as vivid as the males. Habitat The ruby crowned Dunagar inhabits the lowland forests of Central and South America, specifically in countries like Costa Rica, Panama, and parts of Colombia and Ecuador. They are typically found in tropical rainforests and can be seen in mid to upper forest levels. Behavior these birds are social and are often found in small flocks, especially during the non-breeding season. They are known to be active and energetic, hopping between tree branches and foraging for food. Diet The diet mainly consists of fruits, especially berries, along with insects and small arthropods. They are often seen feeding in fruiting trees or flowering plants where they pick off insects. Conservation. The ruby-crowned Dunagar is generally not considered endangered, though habitat loss and deforestation could pose future threats. However, it is still found in relatively stable populations in its range. Interesting fact, despite its striking red crown, the ruby-crowned Dunagar is part of the Tanagers family, Thrapidae, which includes many other colorful species. Sure. Here's more detailed information about the ruby-crowned Dunaga, Tacophonus coronatus, physical description, males. The male ruby-crowned Dunaga is known for its brilliant ruby-red crown, which is usually concealed under feathers but flares up when the bird is excited or agitated. The body is mostly black with deep red or orange dentures, 
especially on the wings and underparts. They also have a blackish tail with some red on the sides. Females The female is much more subdued in color, generally being a duller shade of olive green or brown. Her crown is not red and can be entirely dark, making it harder to distinguish her from males when the crown is hidden. Behavior and Social Structure Flock Behavior Ruby-crowned tanagers are social birds, often forming small to medium-sized flocks outside of the breeding season. They are not particularly aggressive but may be territorial during breeding times. Activity They are very active, constantly moving around the forest in search of food. They typically hop and fly from tree to tree sometimes making short flights while foraging. Communication These birds have a variety of calls that range from soft chirps to more pronounced whistles, often used for communication within flocks. Breeding and nesting Breeding season The ruby-crowned tanager's breeding season coincides with the rainy season in its range, which can vary depending on the region. This is when males often display their red crowns to attract females. Nesting They build open cup-shaped nests in trees, often near the tops of shrubs or in the lower canopy. The nest is usually constructed from twigs, grasses. Aft Tanaga, Florotrapes volavacea, is a striking bird found in Central America, specifically in regions like Costa Rica, Panama, and Western Colombia. Here are some key details about it. Physical description. Size. Medium-sized tanaga, measuring around 20 cm, 8 inches, in length. Coloration. This bird is most notable for its bright yellow scarf across the chest, which contrasts with its olive green body and darker wings and tail. The male typically has more vivid coloration. While females are generally more subdued, bill, it has a relatively short, stout bill, typical of tanagers. Habitat, preferred environment, it inhabits lowland and mountain forests, usually staying in the middle levels of the canopy. Range, found primarily in the humid forests of Central America, particularly in Costa Rica, Panama, and parts of Western Colombia. Behavior and Diet Diet, like many tanagers, the yellow-scarfed tanagurk is an omnivore, feeding on fruits, berries, seeds, and insects. Feeding Habits It often forages in the forest canopy, sometimes in mixed species feeding frogs. Breeding Little is known about its specific breeding behavior, but it is likely to be similar to other tanagers which builds nests in trees and leaves. The flame-crested tanager, Tachyphernus cristatus, is a striking bird found in Central and South America, especially in Costa Rica, Panama, and parts of Colombia. It is easily recognizable by its vibrant orange crest and dark body. This tanager prefers tropical and subtropical forests, where it feeds on fruit and insects. Would you like to delve deeper into its behavior or habitat? Certainly. Here's a more detailed look at the flame-crested tanager. Tachyphernus cristatus. Physical description. Size. The flame-crested tanager is a medium-sized bird, typically around 20 cm, 8 inches, in length. Coloration. The most striking feature of the flame-crested tanager is its bright orange or flame-colored crest. The rest of the body is mostly dark, with males generally being darker overall compared to females. Male The male has a glossy black body, 
with a brilliant orange crest on its head, which contrasts sharply with the rest of its plumage. Female. The female has a slightly duller coloration, with less vibrant crest feathers compared to the male. She is typically brownish with some lighter underparts. Habitat. The flame-crested tanager is found primarily in the lowland and montane forests of Central America, including countries like Costa Rica, Panama, and parts of Colombia. It prefers subtropical and tropical environments, typically in areas with dense foliage and plenty of fruit-bearing plants. Diet. Like most tanagers, the flame-crested tanager is omnivorous, feeding primarily on fruits, but it also eats insects, small invertebrates, and occasionally seeds. They often forage in the mid-level canopy of forests, where they search for ripe fruit or small insects. Behavior. The flame-crested tanager is generally social, often found in small flocks, particularly in the breeding season. These flocks can sometimes include other species of tanagers. They are known for their high-pitched calls and agile movements while foraging. Reproduction. Flame-crested tanagers build cup-shaped nests in trees or shrubs, often in dense vegetation to avoid predators. The female lays a small clutch of eggs, typically two to three, which she incubates. The male often helps by defending the territory and bringing food to the female during incubation. Conservation status. The flame-crested tanager is not currently listed as threatened or endangered. However, like many tropical species, it could be affected by habitat loss due to deforestation and human encroachment. Fun fact. The flame-crested tanager's vivid orange crest is not just for show. It plays a role in attracting mates. Bright plumage is often a sign of health and genetic fitness. Features, plumage. As the name suggests, the white capped tanager has a distinctive white or pale grayish cap on its head, which contrasts with its vibrant body. Its plumage is mostly a mix of deep blue, green, and yellow, with a prominent blackish or dark green back. Size It is a medium sized bird, measuring around 20 cm, 8 inches in length. Habitat the white-capped tanager typically inhabits the upper reaches of tropical and subtropical forests, often in cloud forest regions. These birds are usually found at altitudes of around 1,800 to 3,000 meters, 5,900 to 9,800 feet. Diet Their diet consists mainly of fruits, berries, and nectar. And they are also known to eat small insects. They often forage in pairs or small groups. Behavior These tanagers are relatively shy and prefer to stay hidden in dense vegetation. They are not migratory and stay in their preferred mountain habitats year-round. Conservation The white-capped tanager is not currently considered at significant risk. But habitat loss due to deforestation and fragmentation in its native areas poses a potential threat. Conservation efforts focus on preserving the cloud forests of the Andes. This bird is prized by birdwatchers for its stunning coloration and is often featured in birding guides for the region. Certainly, here's more detailed information on the white-capped tanager, Saracosypha alba crustata. Physical characteristics, head and cap. The white cap is one of its most distinctive features which is often described as a pale, almost silvery gray. This stands in stark contrast to the brighter colors of the rest of the body. The face around the cap is typically dark, with some variation between individuals, giving it a masked appearance. Body The body is a striking blend of vibrant green and yellow, with the wings and tail showing shades of deep blue and dark olive green. The contrast between the bright colors and dark tones makes this tanager stand out. Uh -huh. Legs and bill.
The legs are short and dark colored, while the bill is strong and conical, typical of tanagers, suited for eating fruit, berries, and nectar. In summary, the white-capped tanager is a beautiful and charismatic bird with vibrant plumage and an essential role in the cloud forest ecosystems of the Andes. Its bright colors and relatively specialized habitat make it a fascinating species for birdwatchers and researchers alike. The white fronted chat, scientific name, Eptianora albifons, is a small passerine bird native to Australia. Here are some key details about this species, physical description, size. Approximately 17 to 19 centimeters in length. Plumage, the white-fronted chat has striking plumage with a white face and throat which gives it its name. Its body is generally brown, with a mix of dull yellow and orange on its belly. Males are often more colorful than females. Distinguishing features, the most prominent feature is its white forehead and throat. Contrasting with the darker body, habitat, Location, found mainly in southern and central Australia, including arid regions. Habitat, prefers dry, open environments, such as deserts, shrublands, and grasslands. They are often seen near water sources like rivers, lakes, and wetlands. Behavior, feeding, white-fronted chats primarily feed on seeds, insects, and other small invertebrates. They are ground foragers and can often be seen hopping or running along the ground in search of food. Breeding These birds build their nests in shrubs or trees and typically lay two to four eggs. With both parents sharing the task of incubation and feeding the chicks. Social structure They are typically seen in small groups, especially during the non-breeding season. During the breeding season, they become more territorial. Conservation status. The white-fronted chat is not currently considered to be at risk and is classified as least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. However, like many species in arid areas, it faces threats from habitat loss and climate change. Song and calls. Their song is a simple, melodious series of notes which they often sing while perched in low vegetation or on the ground. They also make a variety of calls that are often used for communication within their flocks. The white-fronted chat is a lovely example of Australia's diverse bird life, with its distinctive appearance and adaptability to a wide range of habitats. Certainly, here's a more detailed exploration of the white-fronted chat, Eptianora albifons, Taxonomy and related species, the white fronted chat is part of the Eptianora genus, which belongs to the Melophagidae family, the honey creeper or honey eater family. Despite its name, it is not a true chat, which belongs to a different family of birds, Turdidae, but its common name reflects its general appearance. It is closely related to other species in the Eptianora genus including the red-capped chat, Eptianora orifons, and the black-chinned chat, Eptianora nigrita, which share similar behaviors and habitats but are distinguished by variations in coloration and distribution. Conservation efforts, while not under immediate threat, ongoing conservation efforts to protect natural habitats in Australia, particularly in arid regions, are essential for maintaining stable populations. Interesting facts. 1. Territorial behavior. During the breeding season, males can become quite territorial, and you may see them aggressively defending their nesting site by chasing away intruders or competing males. In summary, the white-fronted chat is an intriguing and beautiful species of Australian bird, well adapted to the often challenging conditions of the country's dry interior. With its striking white face and lively behavior, it plays an important role in the ecosystems it inhabits, feeding on insects and seeds while contributing to seed dispersal. Despite being a resilient species, it faces challenges from habitat loss and climate change, 
making conservation efforts crucial to its continued survival.